So over the past few months, I have been filming a series here on my channel called Truck Camper Build, where I've been slowly converting my 2020 short bed Toyota Tacoma into a truck camper setup. I had the camper shell on the back. I just finished building this custom bed setup back here in the back. And things are fixing to change. And, and if you guys remember, throughout this build series, I have stressed on not doing things permanent when you build things to your vehicles like this. And I'm a big believer in trying your best not to drill any permanent holes or fixtures or anything like that on it if you might change it later. I change stuff up all the time. As I told you guys, I have not even got to sleep in this bed yet. It is practically brand new. I just, and now that the top's off today, I'm gonna get to walk you guys around it where you can clearly, you know, really see how nice this thing turned out before I take it out. I am pulling this bed set up out of the truck today, which as it goes, you know, as I said, going back to not permanently drilling anything, I built this in place. Everything is easy removable. I'll be able to take this apart, set it to the side with the camper shell. Later on, if I decide to put it back on, I might, or I may get rid of it. If, you know, if somebody makes me the right offer, I may sell the shell with the Prince who rack on top and the custom bed set up with it. But I'm, I'm getting rid of it today because today I'm excited to say that I did partner with Diamondback bed covers and I'm gonna be installing their HD bed cover. Now, stay with me. I'm gonna try to explain in this video why I'm making this switch. I really do like the ARE camper shell setup, but it was a lot of weight. I was constantly driving with all this weight on the back of my truck. I drive about 30 minutes every day to work and then 30 minutes back from work. My gas mileage was horrible because I was kind of hauling around a lot of extra weight back here, especially if I had my rooftop tent on top of the camper shell. And that is the reason I'm making the switch. So we're switching over today. We're gonna remove this setup. I'm keeping my whole setup in the back seat area for now. Uh, if you followed along, you know that I did remove my back seat and I've got the fridge set up in there. I've got the solar panel set up in there. So we're still gonna have that power in there for camping. Uh, but we are making a change for the back. And one of the main reasons is, is I wanna be able to lock my stuff up in the bed of my truck under the diamond back cover, but I can also use the top of my bed cover to haul stuff like wood or kayaks or, or anything that I need. I mean, it's the HD. You can literally park a four wheeler on top of these bed covers. And I'm really excited about that, but I'm also excited that I'm gonna be able to mount my utilizing a Yakima HD rack system we're gonna be able to mount the rooftop tent above the truck on the rack with a 270 awning that I'm gonna be showing you guys later that we're gonna be installing very soon here on the channel. But I'm gonna be able to run all of that stuff when I want to. And then when I don't want to drive around and haul the tent and the awning around with me, I'm gonna be able to quick disconnect it from the top of this diamond back cover, take the whole setup, the rack, the tent, the awning, all off at one time and set it to the side in the garage and I don't have to drive around with all that weight on the back of the truck. When I wanna go camping, I can pick it up, throw it all back on here and be good to go, ready to go camping. But anyway, that is gonna be this week's video. <clears throat> Lost my voice there for a minute. That is gonna be this week's video, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you up close before I dismantle this and set it to the side. If you are interested in this setup, hit me up in the comments. I know as I've been building and a lot of you guys that have been following along, have been hitting me up, want me to build you guys one or asking me how much, you know, to build one out and mail it to you or meet up and, and sell you one. But I, I really ain't in the market to do like custom builds for people, but I may get rid of this one along with the camper shell and the Prince who rack on top. Maybe if the price is right, uh, just let me know. The, the ARE shell is about two years old. I did have it custom painted last year or not custom. I had it professionally painted, you know, by a body shop to match the cement color of my Tacoma. But yeah, let's, uh, let me show you. I'm gonna grab the camera really quick, show you the camper shell while I got it off, walk you through this, and then I'm gonna start installing this HD bed right, cover. Before I set the camera up and start pulling her all apart, let me show you. I got everything kind of pulled out, except for the drawer. I still gotta empty the drawer. But this is the setup, <laughs> and I haven't even gotten to use it. I mean, if I don't get rid of it, odds are I will end up using it in the future but it turned out really good. It's got the bed that I made. All of this is carpeted to match. Uh, I will be leaving my bed rug in the truck. So all the carpet you see on the floor and the walls stays in the truck. I haven't done anything to modify it, so it still should be like new. And I'm keeping my Billy Bar's tailgate cover on here. The only thing I'm taking out is this, you know, bed setup that I took, that I built into place here. 
So the way I got it is this is one piece that just slides out. I've got a couple of screws that are screwed into one of the boards here. This whole box right here will just slide away from the wall. We'll be able to take it out. I've got a couple of screws in the top right here that'll, that holds this big platform down that I made. This should just slide right out with no problem. And then we got the drawer system that'll just slide out from the bottom. No holes were drilled, but look how nice the setup is. You can kind of see with this camper shell off how big the bed actually is. I'm 5'9", and with the pillow here, my feet would come to right in here somewhere. So if you're around 5'9", five, 5'10", five, something like that, or shorter, this is a perfect setup. And I also took out the, uh, this will go with it too if I do get rid of it, but if you remember, this uh, little corner shelf I had in here. Let's see if I can set it over here so you can get a picture of how it was before I start taking it all apart. This was actually in there just like that. So I had that little shelf there. I put two little cup holders in it. But that's the setup. It sleeps one person this way. Pretty good. Got the storage up underneath. I didn't carpet that back wall back there, but you can't see it anyway. Got the drawer system here. I love it. I love how it looks, but like I said, it's time for a change because I'm fixing to show you this guy right here. Once we get into the installation of the diamond back, here's the shell. I did film this morning, me and my, or I thought I filmed me and my brother taking this off my truck and putting it on the pallet, but I never hit record on the camera. so. I didn't get to share that with y'all, but me, I called my brother, he come over and we just picked it up and I got it set on this pallet on some foam. I'm probably gonna bolt some uh, two by fours across the pallet this way to hold it from the sides instead of the front and back because I don't like it sitting on the window like that. And then I'm just gonna keep it on this pallet because I got a tractor with some forks. Once I get the bed out, I'm gonna put everything on it or either inside it on top of that pallet and I'll be able to use my tractor to pick this whole pallet up and stick it in my basement out of the way, you know, unless I get rid of it. If any of you guys are interested, just let me know. But today, that's what we're gonna be putting on. So first, let me set the camera up before we even get started on the diamond back. I need to do the old bittersweet thing and start dismantling my bed here. was fast guys that thing come right apart i forgot that i only had like five or six screws holding all those pieces together and they actually all are right here there's let's see how many pieces there are there's the shelf then that's two three the drawer four five pieces and that is it so uh, it's kind of modular you can actually just pop it out as you've seen there and i think where's the screws at there's the screws that i took out right there maybe more than five maybe about eight or nine screws, but everything just kind of bolted together or screwed together. And it was kind of press fit back here. As you can see, I did go ahead and vacuum my bed rug because I'm gonna try to treat this area kind of like a, a trunk. I wanna be able to, this hunting season, you know, I wanna be able to haul my hunting gear back here, you know, lock up my, my bow case back here and stuff like that. And look, I even got a chance to clean this back window that is one downfall of running a camper shell on these Tacomas. You cannot get back here to clean this window. I've had that shell on this truck for about a year now and the way they're form fitted, the, 
the shell kind of wraps around right here. It kind of pokes out in the front. So you can't get back here to clean this window at all. So I took the time to go ahead and clean it. I got my Billy Bar's tailgate cover cleaned up and we are good to go. The mattress is right over here. I just kind of kind of thrown on top of the, the shell. I do love that shell. I mean, if I end up keeping it, I, I do like the way it looks. I just hated, you know, driving around with all that weight. And something else I didn't mention, but you know, I just installed this lift kit on my truck and it's supposed to have leveled it out. As you can see now, the truck is completely level, but running that with all of this back there, I got worried after I installed it in that video and I went over and measured it and the back of my truck was actually about three quarters of an inch lower than the front. And I thought that I had done something wrong. I checked all my measurements, I checked my blocks, but then realized what it was, was I had all this weight back here in the back actually you know, weighing it down. So now that it's all off, you see the truck is completely leveled out now. I've measured it, it's, exact, it's perfectly level now. So it was just the weight of all of this in the back that actually had it drop down a little bit. Of course, the Diamondback's gonna weigh a little bit, but it's all aluminum, so it's not gonna weigh that much, to be honest, and it's sturdy. I think this thing holds 1,600 pounds. This is the HD, so I can park a four-wheeler on top or whatever. We'll get into the unboxing really quick. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to remove that bed setup. So if you do build you one like this, or if you're the person that ends up with this one, and you don't wanna run it for a while, that's how quick you can take it out. And it's, you know, it's not extremely compact, but you could slide that into your basement or the side of your garage easy and out of the way. And then you're left with the bed. So, all right, I'm gonna set the camera up. We're gonna do a quick unboxing of this Diamondback. I'm gonna show you guys everything it comes with. And then I'm gonna start installing it. I don't think it comes with everything. I know that it comes with everything, sorry, uh, to seal the bed. I've already got this bed pretty well sealed up. And what I mean by like, sealing it up is these, these Tacomas come with gaps right here. But as you can see, I've already sealed it because last year or year before last, I was running a, a cheaper tonneau cover. And before I added the bed rug, I sealed all, the whole bed up. So really there's no water or dust or anything that can get back here. But Diamondback does, when you order one of these, they come with a kit for sealing your bed up. And I'll show you that kit and all. And I may use some of it, but for the most part, I've already got that step done so we can just get into the install. So let's check out this Diamondback. So first of all, if you're interested in one of these Diamondback bed covers, I will have a link in the video description below and you can go check them out. No matter what truck you have, I'm sure they have a cover for your truck. These are the number one bed covers in the world right now. And they are made right here in the United States. They have the HD model, which is the one I got which is the one that you can actually haul like a four wheeler on top of. They are rated for 1600 pounds, but they've also got some, uh, I think the SD model or, or I'll put it on the screen right here, the other models that they offer. And you can get different options for mine. The front will open and the back will open kind of like this, but they've got them now where the back gonna open and the sides will kick open like wings on the side. They got different kinds. So this is not the only one they sell. Make sure you get on their website, check them out. They are really nice. They're made right here in the United States. And if you remember a couple of weeks ago, if you follow along with you know the channel, I filmed the uh, NK3 kayak motor install. And one of the things I said at the beginning of that video is you can always tell a lot about a company by the way they package and ship you their product. And it was because in that video, the NK300, it was really well packaged. Everything was labeled. You could, you know, everything was, it looked like somebody took the time and the care to make sure that you got the product exactly how it left their building. The same goes for this company. Diamondback bed covers, I was so impressed with the shipping and everything with this. It showed up on that pallet, the pallet we've got the camper shell on, so you get a free pallet too. But it showed up on that pallet, it was ratcheted down, and then I've already peeked in here at how well they package it and it is packaged really well. So this is how it arrives to you. Everything is wrapped up, everything is protected, even down to the handles and the locks. They've got plastic protective stuff on them. This is for another video. I'll have to get this out of the way. Y'all pretend y'all didn't see that because we're gonna be installing the HD Yakima set with the tent and the new awning in an upcoming video. So if you wanna see that, make sure you're subscribed. But this is how Diamondback, Diamondback sends you their bed covers. Now I did go with the one that doesn't have the diamonds in the top. They've got a couple of different styles. This is called their smooth top, 
but it's actually not smooth. It's actually, uh, it's like a truck bed liner coating on top of it. It's, it's really, it's gonna be nice. I can't wait to have this on there. And, and I like how these Diamondbacks, they're not a flush, you know, a flush bed cover. They stick up pretty high. So you've got these nice tie down straps all over them where you can actually strap gear or, or a full wheeler, like I said, to the top of it. But I was really impressed by the way the shipping and the packaging was on this. And now I am ready. I've had this in my garage for, I don't know, four days now because I hadn't had time to film this video and it's been killing me because I really wanted to cut this saran wrap and start checking this stuff out. So let's get into this unboxing really quick. I'm probably not gonna go into extreme detail on the install of this. I'm gonna set the camera up and we're gonna go step by step with the instructions, but there are a ton of videos on YouTube and I'll link a couple that I've watched, you know, below in the video description that, you know, I wanted to make sure that I did this install right. So I'm just like you guys, I'll hop on YouTube and try to find a video of somebody who installed it. And there's several of them on there. I learned a lot already just from YouTube, but they come with really good detailed instructions, which I'll show you once we get to cutting the saran wrap. So let's get this thing unboxed and get it installed. All right, real quick before I start the install, you've seen that I just got everything unboxed. Everything was packaged extremely well. And here's the actual bed cover itself. I love how it says Diamondback. It's kind of stamped from the inside out, so it kind of sticks out and you can feel it. Diamondback right across the tailgate. We've got a locking latch that will actually be right behind the driver's side. So if I want to get access to the, you know, behind the cab, I can just hop out unlatch it with the key, open it up from the back, and then there's a center one in the very back right there that you'll be able to use to access the back of the truck. But I absolutely love, and here's the centerpiece here, this, this is actually the part that bolts down to the truck and then those hinge off of this centerpiece here. But I absolutely love how they provide you with everything that you need, all the way down to a whole pack of the black silicone. Now. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, I probably will not need to do as much sealing as most people will because I've already sealed up the bed of this truck pretty well. I'll, I'm gonna double check and make sure that I don't need to do any sealing, but now we're just gonna get into the install. I've got a full detailed, look how nice these instructions are. I mean, it tells you everything. It's got pictures of everything, exactly where to do it, where to mount it. And on these Tacomas, the first thing you have to do is do the bed rail caps. So I'm gonna, you'll see me in a minute. I'm gonna have to pop these bed rail caps up and they provide these little spacer things. These, they're like rubber. And I guess there's a weak point somewhere right in here that these have to go under and they stick to the bottom of this and you put your bed rail back on or the cap back on and it actually gives it support. So when you mount that center piece down, this big piece right here, and we clamp it down because it's got to clamp down pretty tight. It doesn't like cave in this plastic. From what I've seen on the videos that I watched, these go under here in the center to keep this plastic from like crumpling in or messing the, the, the bed cap in, in any way. But yeah, that is it, man. That is really nice. They got these heavy duty struts that come for it. So that, you know, when we open up the back or the front, 
it actually opens up itself. And that's all there is to it. So let's set the camera up and see if I can figure this out and get this bed cover on here. I'm excited to see how it's gonna turn out. Well, that was way easier and faster than I had planned on it. Uh, I've only been out here in the garage like an hour and a half, guys. I planned on being out here most of the day installing this by myself, and it was so easy with those instructions. But this is the one I got. This is how awesome these diamond back bed covers are. Now, if you look right here, you can tell that I did order mine and went ahead and had them install the Yakima track system on the bed cover itself. That is an option that they provide. So if you do plan on putting a rack system on top of your bed cover, you can, I think prepay, it's like 80 bucks, but they go ahead and install it for you. They put the tracks, you know, they drill the holes, they put them where they're supposed to be, and you don't even have to worry about it. And I wanted to go ahead and do that because the next video is gonna be us installing, I got the whole kit over there, it's the Yakima, uh, overhaul HD kit and it's a rack system that we're going to mount to those tracks for the rooftop tent and the 270 awning and since you guys are still watching I'll go ahead and show you the awning that I got so if you follow the channel you know that I just did a video a couple of weeks ago and I unboxed this clamshell rooftop tent that I found on Amazon well I got back on Amazon and the same company had the same brand 270 awning so it should pair really well with this tent and it's a 270 so it's going to wrap you know mostly around the truck once it's installed but the plan is now that i've got this diamond back cover we're going to put that rack system on there we're going to put the tent up there on top of that rack system the 270 awning is going to mount on the same rack and when i don't want to run it i can pull everything off at once with probably going to use my tractor with the forks but i'll just be able to loosen up the yakima rack from the track you know, pull the bolts out of the track system and then pick everything up with the legs and set it into the floor in the garage and not have to ride around with the tent on the back. But what do y'all think about this diamond back? I'll show you guys how it works really quick. So if you look right here, the driver's side has this latch and the center of the back has a latch. And the way this works is if you need to get into, you know, the back of your truck or whatever, you can hop out, turn this handle, and it will open to right there. That's as far as it opens. And the reason it does that is because if you was to accidentally leave it open, or if it was to pop open going down the highway, it's got a safety mechanism that only allows it to open that far so it don't flip back and you know blow off or anything like that. But then if you need to go further, you reach under here, and I might have to do it with two hands. Let's see. Come on. I'm still learning how to use this thing. How do you do it? There it goes. You got to push down on it a little bit. And then it will open the rest of the way. And what's cool is Deck also sells these bins. I can't remember what they're called, but I'm definitely going to get me one. They hang in here across your bed. They don't sit on the floor, so you can still store stuff under them. But it's almost like having a toolbox, a truck toolbox on the back of your truck. And they've got these cubbies where you can put your tools or gear in them. And then you can just reach in right here and get to your stuff. How cool is that? And they've got these awesome mounting points. 
And when you order yours, like if you don't want these, you can get them without these mounting points. I definitely wanted them. And they sell some new ones too that they actually bolt where these hinges go and they're low profile and they're made to run straps under so you can strap stuff to the top of your Diamondback. And I'll show you the back back here. I love how this says Diamondback and it's kind of popping out like that. That's really cool. But back here is the same way. You turn your latch, the shocks assist it open and look how much room I have back here now. I mean, you get full access. You can reach everything. Here's a better shot. I mean, there's literally nothing that you couldn't reach that, you know, that this bed cover gets in the way of. You can literally get to anything in the back of your truck. How cool is this, man? I absolutely love this thing. I cannot wait to pair it with this Yakima kit. That's gonna be so awesome once we get everything set up for camping. And I, I still got my Prince rack on the front where I can haul you know, more gear up there if I needed to. I still got my back seat set up you know, where we deleted the back seat. We got the refrigerator back here. I've got my solar power system. All of that stuff is still back here. If y'all didn't see the video where we deleted that, be sure to check it out. I'll link it right here. But we did a lot of, a lot of stuff to this truck over the past couple of months. It's kind of bittersweet removing this, especially since I didn't get to use it, but I'm gonna, Clean, you know, everything is gonna get cleaned up really good. I'm gonna strap it down to this pallet and stick it in the basement, unless somebody hits me up and they wanna get it from me. So if you've been looking for a good way to like store stuff in the bed of your truck, keep it out of the weather, keep, you know, keep it locked up so people can't get to it if you're out fishing or out hunting somewhere, this is a really great route to go, guys. I really do think this is gonna be a great option for being able to keep stuff stowed away, out of sight, so people can't see what you have, and secure in the back of your truck. These things are awesome. And they're made right here in America, which is a huge plus for me. The quality is great. It's made out of aluminum. And once we're done with this setup, we're gonna be able to do some really cool stuff with it, and I'm excited for that. It is a big difference between the ARE camper shell, I know, that was a great idea, you know, building that out to, to camp it and stuff, but it was so much back there riding around daily when I wasn't camping, it was just not really practical. This is gonna be way easier once we get the setup going with the tent on the Yakima system and we'll, we're able to pull it on and off, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna love having this tonneau cover on the back of the truck where I can secure my stuff during hunting season and you know, when we're out fishing, if I have things in the back that I can lock up, this is the way to go. So if you're in the market for something like this, make sure you check out the Diamondback website. They got a ton of accessories for these. Like I said, they got lights. They got a big magnet toolbar that goes across the back. They got the bins in the back. They, are, they got all kind of cool stuff. So check out their website. They will be linked in the video description below. Thank you Diamondback for sponsoring this week's video. Y'all make sure you're subscribed. Next week, we're gonna be installing that tent, the 270 awning and the Yakima kit on this truck. We're gonna take it out test it out, maybe even pull it on and off with the tractor to see how quickly I can load it and unload it and stuff like that. So y'all stay tuned for that video. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you next Monday at six o'clock. Peace.